Members of the president's national security team now floating a new timetable for his exit from the Obama administration. We're talking about the defense secretary, Robert Gates. So let's bring in our Pentagon correspondent, Chris Lawrence. Uh, Chris, uh, all of a sudden, uh, the defense secretary suggesting next year uh, he'll be leaving the administration. He'd like to leave sometime next year, Wolf, and, and it's for this reason. He feels like if he were to leave in 2012, well, there's an election that November. He feels that uh, if there was some sort of contentious confirmation hearing, that wouldn't be good for the process. And also he feels that if there's a possibility that President Obama is not reelected at the end of 2012, you know, it's going to be hard to find a credible successor if there's a chance that that person may only serve nine or ten months on the job. For years, Defense Secretary Robert Gates has been channeling the Godfather's Michael Corleone. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. He was ready to retire two years ago, but stayed on to serve a second president. Now he hopes to leave next year. Quote, I think it would be a mistake to wait until January 2012. This is not the kind of job you want to fill in the spring of an election year. I think he's a gentleman. Retired General Jim Dubik served under Gates during the height of the Iraq surge. He wonders if the next secretary will keep Gates' respect for military leaders in uniform. He's a, a genuinely respectful of the military profession and what we bring to the table. He's also a, a, a very good listener and a very good question asker. Gates has aggressively cut the defense budget. He stopped the Air Force from spending $65 billion on F-22 planes and just announced a plan to cut 30,000 contractors and close an entire military command. The culture of endless money that has taken hold must be replaced by a culture of savings and restraint. Some military officials don't like these cuts. Might they consider Gates a lame duck and try to wait him out? Pentagon spokesman Jeff Morrell told me there's always that danger, but, quote, I don't think anyone would dare try to play with fire and drag their feet. They do so at their own peril. The secretary is not afraid to fire people who are not on board. But if Gates leaves, it raises the question, what will the president do without him? President Obama came in, particularly after Bush, uh, with, uh, with sort of an impression that he would be uh, softer on defense and uh, uh, unable to uh, stand up to the Pentagon. Washington Post columnist Dana Milbank says whether it was Gates backing the Afghanistan fleet or cutting weapon systems, Having a hawkish holdover from a Republican administration helped Obama. He's not just given the president some political cover. He's been uh, an extensive, uh, uh, a down duvet cover for uh, President Obama's uh, administration. Yeah, so uh, if that blanket is gone, it raises, uh, you know, a lot of issues. And there are a lot of milestones coming up potentially next year, including the president's uh, deadline to start to withdraw troops from Afghanistan. And the issue of don't ask, don't tell. Gays in the military. Uh, Secretary Gates has been a big proponent speaking out in favor of repealing that. You know, if he's not there, you have to wonder, like, where some of these issues may fall. Well, well he's not leaving yet. He'll be around for a while. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Chris, We're talking thanks. a ways away. Yeah, that's right. Thanks very much, Chris Lawrence at the Pentagon.